What is up, YouTube? I'm back with another YouTube video, and we're here with the Assault on Vondel, Vondel, whatever you want to call it, uh, event that we have in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 alongside Warzone in the Season 4 update. Now, as you can see, there is a community challenge currently active, and that's where we're going to get into first. And it says, collect the medals as a community to unlock a new weapon and gameplay elements in Vondel, Vondel, whatever. So you can see here, at 125 million medals, we have taxi boats and trams that will become unlocked and usable throughout the new map. Okay, so that's great. Then after that, we'll unlock reinforcement flares, we'll unlock favorite supply boxes, and then the melee weapon, Tanfa. Now look, in my opinion, I think these are some nice things to have as unlocks, right? But what's going to happen after we unlock them? In 47 days, are they going to go away? You know, are they going to be gone forever? Because I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't care about this melee weapon at the end. All I really want from here is that supply box. That way you can get your loadout whatever faster. That's all I care about. Other than that, nothing else, you know, is that crazy for me. Yes, I would like the taxi boat and trams and the reinforcement flare and the supply box, but that's pretty much it. The melee weapon to me just isn't, you know, it isn't that important. But you can see what I'm expecting is once we hit 125 million, if we even hit it in 47 days, but I think we are, we'll get reinforcement flares unlocked and then they'll say, get 150 million and then after that I get 200 million and then 250 million whatever right which is absurd for a melee weapon at the end but that's just me throwing hypothetical numbers out there so that's how I think that's gonna work but as a community we just got to get stars so now or I should say medals how do you get medals well that's where you go over here so basically you can see here when you look at the mastery challenges and rewards you can see top left you can see how many medals you currently have and they say complete mastery challenges to earn medals and unlock event exclusive rewards the rewards we'll get into in a minute but let's just talk about this little map that we have here as well as the challenges that we have so you can see for graveyard it's two out of three for me right now currently and i have find the detonator at graveyard complete a contract started at graveyard and then kill 10 enemy soldiers at graveyard so this is what i want to distinguish very quickly we have the enemy soldiers and you're going to see later on you can see right here enemy operators if you get kills i believe in a pvp environment like let's say you play a resurgence and you land at graveyard i believe your kill should still count there if you're playing pvp but enemy soldiers refers to ai so for example if you play something like dmz that will be done very quickly right let's say you just go into dmz one run you, you don't bring nothing important with you you can go to graveyard then you can make your way over to what's another spot that requires kills uh let's see let's see enemy soldiers you can drive from graveyard to city hall and then you can go over to stadium right and then go to zoo and get your your enemy soldier kills done but when it refers to operators obviously that's real players that's pvp that you have to do to get that done so i just want to distinguish that and then you can see also for graveyard this is the first time you see the find a detonator at x location in this case it's graveyard and i will be putting all the locations that i found the detonator at now i do want to know this is where i found them i've seen in reddit twitter a bunch of places saying that the detonator seems to either be random spawns or um, just in different spots every time so if I find it in one place it's you know uh, there, there's a chance that you might not find it in the same spot which is fine because to be honest they're not that they're not that hard to find I'll put a picture up of what a detonator looks like right now just so you can kind of have that image or whatever you know you can kind of know what you're looking for but there's also an audio cue that you get whenever you're near it that's going to give it away saying this is the general area where you have to look to find a detonator so I'll also play that audio right now. UAV in the area. Intel reports an enemy bomb detonator in the area. Get it secure. So now that we played that audio, hopefully the image and the audio will help you kind of, you know, find it a little easier. But I am going to play my detonator, you know, locations more toward the end of the video. But there will be timestamps linked in the description below to help get you if that's what you need help with. Because I understand that that could be a little annoying. But moving on, we're going to look at some other objectives. You can see Castle is pretty much the same thing, but this one has open 10 containers at Castle. So obviously, this is referring to loot boxes or just try to just loot everything in general. Then University is complete a contract started at University. Now, 
this could be a little annoying because let's say you get there and the only contract is like something you know upload the intel and that requires you to go move halfway across the map to upload and then you're out in the open and stuff that's probably the most annoying one that i've gotten so far but these are pretty easy if you can just pick up a bounty and push your bounty right and resurgence does make this a lot easier so if you're playing resurgence even if you're a solo just jump in there you can easily get all of, all of these done relatively quickly today this is where i got all my progress from was actually sitting here and trying to do some of these challenges and you can see I, I got a good amount done got 28 stars or i should say medals so you can see for market same thing then they all just start to repeat themselves you can see detonator start a contract or complete a contract started at city hall and then kill 10 enemy soldiers at city hall so that's ai referring to that again and then a detonator at the mall open 10 containers at the mall and then kill three enemy operators at the mall so you can see they just start repeating the only time they become different is when you go here to the logistics operations and intelligence side of this now this is only available if you own mw2 the 60 dollars or i should say 70 dollars purchase and you basically have to own the game in order to get access to this and to be honest it's not really anything special you can see for intelligence win five matches of headquarters get three kills without dying 15 times in team deathmatch get 15 high value target kills and bounty and then it says for operations win five matches of search and destroy capture 25 points in domination and get 25 defender kills then win five matches of hard point confirm 75 kills and kill confirmed and get 25 assault kills so i'm not a big fan of this to be honest it's just forcing you to play different game modes and you know like what you get one star for doing it or i should say medal again you get one medal for doing this it's not really anything special but once you've you know gotten stars from this whole map then you can see earn medals indefinitely until the events end with the recurring challenges which will be to place fifth or higher in any warzone match and then get 15 kills in a winning multiplayer match so again the get 15 kills in a winning multiplayer match is interesting just because you know obviously when you play multiplayer you're trying to get kills but whether or not your team is playing objective or something that's a different story so let's say you're getting screwed out of winning i don't know that's just an interesting uh, little choice to make there from from the devs that's going to do it for all the challenges we have here. Now, I do want to talk about the rewards because some of these I think are really cool. So you can see for getting one medallion, you get the foul play loading screen. Then around five uh, medals, you get the shallows, which is a tab skin for the new vehicle. Then the good to be king emblem. Then you can see you get the Sea Dog handgun X12 blueprint. Then you get this sniper rifle blueprint, which does look pretty nice. You can see it has some different colors on it, real cool, whatever. If you use the Signal 50, I don't know, you could probably throw that on. But then the deep sea danger large decal. You also get a camo, and I'll show you guys what this looks like in game right now. And now that we're back, breathe in the soul weapon sticker. We got Randy the Riveter, which is a large decal, which is pretty funny. Then we have an electrifying operator finishing move. We have the Alpha Brigade skin here, and this looks really nice. I'm going to preview it. I mean, it matches the colors of the vehicle and stuff. You can see it has like gold trim with blue and black accents on it. It's really cool, in my opinion. So that's nice to see that there's an actual decent skin then a camo called train car which just looks like a bunch of graffiti then we have the orders incoming which shows this squad you know the the soldier here the alpha brigade so that's pretty cool loading screen and then this is for mw2 owners only so if you own the 70 dollar base game and you finish all of this you will get this rubber duck charm so if that's something you really want you can go ahead and go for that but that's all the rewards and everything so from this point on i'll just show you guys all the detonator locations that i found and again remember 
they could spawn in different places. What I recommend is if you're playing with friends or something, try to get them all together, do it at the same time. I'm not sure if one person does it, it counts it for the whole team, but just give that a go. Pretty much pick one POI and land there, and then next game, pick the next one and just do it until you have all of them done. And just remember, l listen for the audio cue. Once you hear the audio cue, it's somewhere near there, so just keep an eye out. So I'm going to get into the detonator locations now, and I'll see you guys towards the end of the video. So hopefully you found this video useful because God knows sometimes I was having a hard time trying to figure out where some of those detonators were. But with some patience and hopefully just referring to the video, you can get it done relatively fast. So if you found this video useful, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe. That means a whole lot. And make sure to ring the bell so you don't miss another video. And by the time you're watching this, if you're watching it as soon as it comes out, I will be going live in about a couple hours on my Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash monkey sham zero link in the description. If you want to drop by, I'll be playing some DMZ, some resurgence, everything. So if you want to drop by, just come into the chat, say what's up. I'd appreciate it. But with all of that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.